In this tutorial is going to go over unit application 3.2 in Excel. So you want to make sure you open up the file that's given to you in Canvas Connect or Blackboard and you, the first thing you're going to do is save it and then you're going to create an Excel table for the, uh, for the data. So click anywhere in the table, format as table. And what's confusing is it wants you to select none, but at this point you can't select none, so just go ahead and click any category under light. Make sure you highlight your data. My table do does have headers. Click OK. Um, and then at this point, you can come up here to these table styles, and then now it has a none. So you want to click on none. Okay, now you're going to use the sum, if, in the total time and expe expenses section. So don't let this confusing confuse you. You just want to think of it as you want the total of a column if something equals something. So what I mean by that is they want you to put the total time that was spent in Tamaska or Tamaski, Illinois. So let the function take you through it. So you want to click up here on the function, make sure you type in some ifs, and then you want to click on it and then let it take you through it. So you want the sum of the time, so highlight the column, you want the sum of the time if your representative equals, you can either spell out the whole word to Maskey or you could just do TAM and a star or an asterisk, which just basically means if it starts with TAM, then you're good to go. And then you need one other criteria. You need the state of Illinois. And click OK. So I think it looks more confusing than it is. So what you did there was you just again did the sum of this column if these two things equal what you tell it to do. So now you have to continue doing all those sum ifs throughout the rest of this table. So I will let you do that. So I completed the rest of the table for the time. For the cost, you're going to again use the same exact sum if. Your sum range though now is going to be the total road expenses, but your criteria is going to be the same as it was for the first column. And so I will let you continue to do that. Okay, so now I want you to format that data appropriately, and I'll let you do that by changing it to currency. The next thing it wants you to do is center the labels in rows 1 and 2. Um, again, you need to make sure you do this one at a time by clicking Merge and Center. And the next section is to copy the sheet and filter the rows. So all you need to do is highlight the sheet and copy it by hitting Control C or by click copy. Bring it to another sheet. Hit Control V. If you have these pound signs, it means you need to come up here and click between A and B to get more space. You can do it for all of them. And then it wants you to only show for the first one Elvarez. So you just need to come down here, deselect select all, and just click Elvarez. Um, sort it by states. I'll let you do that. And then you are to, by the way, mine might look a little differently here. just want to let you know that. Um, you want to name the sheet, so right click down here, rename, change it to the person's name you're working with. And then you need to do that for two other representatives. Um, you're going to delete any of new sheets. You can again just by right clicking and hit delete. Um, 
you are going to edit the document properties by doing that. You go into File. Over here is where you'll see the properties. You'll see that you already have um, a preview image. In the properties, you want to go to Show Document Panel, and you want to put your name as the author, and you want to change the company name. Um, if you have any questions, please let your instructors know. Thank you.